Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Frank here at the Critical Bench Compound. And in today's video, I wanna walk you through the top five barbell exercises for your back. Now I'm gonna walk you through each one of these exercises, breaking down the exercise execution of each one, giving you a few tips and cues on how to perform these exercises most effectively for you and your muscle building and fitness journey. So I'm gonna start off guys here with a traditional movement. Probably most of us are already doing this, but if you're not, make sure to make this a staple in your back running, uh, routine. It's one of the best mass muscle building, strength building exercises that you can be doing for your entire back. It's gonna incorporate lats, uh, rhomboids, upper back, traps, get that lower back strengthening in, in, involved as well. So traditional barbell deadlift. So as you guys approach the bar here, as it's set up on the floor, I like to teach kind of go traditional shoulder width stance apart, put your feet planted securely on the floor, get a slight bend at the knees. And as we lower down, we're gonna wanna grab the bar here just slightly outside of our knees. Now, some people will teach doing a, an alternating grip in a power lifting session. Maybe some people would say that gives you more strength output. But for traditional training purposes, I prefer using a standard uh, overhand grip for both because you're not, because when you, when you alternate one grip, this part of your body is gonna work differently. If your hands are in different positions, obviously one side is gonna work different. So if you're doing the alternating grip, make sure you rotate back and forth between which hand is alternating so you balance out the body part. But for most of us, I say just go with the, the traditional overhand grip with both. So grab the bar here, drive these hips back into the, back into the wall behind me, keep a neutral spine head up, and brace and lock the core. And as you come up, you try to keep the bar riding up your shins into your, into your thighs. So bring it up, explode up, drive those hips forward. Back down, slight touch on the ground, explode back up. All right, one more guys. Breathe out on the way up, explode back down. All right guys, so that's the first barbell exercise. Before we move on to the rest of today's exercises, I wanna share with you a free report that we just put together. Whether you're looking for breaking through a muscle building plateau, breaking through a strength barrier, whatever it is you're struggling with right now, we have the three tips to build lean muscle mass. It's a report that I put together here with the team at Critical Bench. I'm gonna link it down there in the first pinned comment below. So after today's video, guys, make sure to go visit that page and download the bushes and share with you all the, some of the greatest insights, tips, tricks, strategies to help you accelerate your muscle building journey, to help you break through these plateaus and ultimately build your greatest physique. All right, guys, so we've broken down the first exercise, the second, top barbell exercise for your back is gonna be a bent over barbell row. Now there's a lot of different ways you can do your, uh, your hands here. You can do an overhand grip, just like, uh, just like we did with a barbell. You can do an underhand grip as well. For today's demonstration, I'm gonna do an overhand row. So approach the bar just like you did with a deadlift, neutral stance, uh, shoulder width apart, secure lock down into the ground. Grab the bar, and I, I prefer to bring the bar up and then get into position. So I'm gonna turn to the side here, guys, real quick and show you. So you wanna drive those hips back, and that's gonna bring the knee down. Now this is where you're rowing. Okay, so keep those elbows locked, engage your core, tight spine. Row back to your belly button. Bring it back down, slight pause at the bottom. Up to your belly button. Really engaging those lats, the middle back getting involved there. All right guys, so that's the second exercise is your bent over barbell row. Now the third exercise is gonna involve a little bit of your shoulders and really work that upper back, that top portion of your back here where everything kinda, kinda comes together. So be a standard, uh, standing barbell upright row. Now this is a movement you can do a lot of different ways. You can do it with dumbbells, you can do it with kettlebells, you can do it with cables. Specifically for today's video because it's the five barbell exercises, we're talking about the barbell version of this. So same thing with the feet guys, everything with our back starts at the ground. So make sure your feet are locked securely, planted into the ground, really driving the floor away from you. Grab the barbell. Now with with an upright row. I do use a false grip. It's just easier on my wrist once I get to the top. But if you need to, grab the bar securely. But for me, I prefer to have my, my thumb on the outside here. Now here, because it's using your shoulders, you are gonna feel a little bit of your rear delts working and that's okay. It's okay to work multiple muscle groups uh, in one exercise. But what we're looking here is we're looking to bring the bar up to right below our chin. Really drive those elbows out to the walls, to your sides. All right, so that's, a, that's the third 
barbell exercise specifically for, the, for your back. The fourth one, very similar setup to, to the one we just did, uh, but it's gonna be a standing barbell shrug. Just like with our uh, upright row guys, this, this movement's gonna involve a few different muscles. It's obviously really focusing on working your upper and lower chest, but there's gonna be a little bit of shoulders involved in the movement as well. Now, one thing I don't want to see you guys doing is a lot of people, they'll load this bar up with more weight that they can handle, becomes a full body kind of gyration exercise. It's not really doing anything. You wanna focus on actually squeezing your traps behind you. So you'll see, you should be, feel like you're closing your shoulder blades together. As you're, as you're shrugging, your shoulders should be closing, your scapula should be closing together. So that's gonna be a standard or standing up, a uh, uh, standing shrug. And then our fifth exercise, guys, we're gonna come over here to the power rack. It's gonna be a barbell inverted row. Inverted row basically means that you're inverted, you know, from the ground up. Um, and obviously because we are using a barbell, technically this class classify as a barbell movement. Because I did overhand row with the barbell, I'm gonna do underhand in the inverted row. So get yourself set into position. Feet planted out in front of you. And row yourself up to the bar. Now this movement is getting a little bit of your biceps involved, which once again is gonna be okay to work more than one muscle group in a given exercise. All right guys, so there you have it. The top five barbell exercises specifically for your back. Now with these movements, feel free to combine them all into one workout. And like we talked about guys, with your rep ranges, whether you're focused on uh, more strength, power building, that's gonna be in your lower rep range, six, eight, maybe up to 10. If you want that more muscle building, hypertrophy, maybe fat loss transformation, then work somewhere between your 12, 15. But focus on the execution, guys. Focus on feeling the muscles work. Focus on completing the movements the proper way that we taught you guys here today. And like I t told you guys at the beginning of the video, if you're looking for some help, if you're looking for some insight, maybe some new strategies to help you break through those training barriers and plateaus, tap that first link down there in the first pinned comment. Pick up the three tips to building lean muscle mass written by yours truly. So that's it guys, Frank Rich from uh, Critical Bench Compound. Really hope that this video helped you. We'll see you on the other side.